Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and in this video I document my weight loss journey showing you guys what I eat, how I work out, to try to lose weight on my personal weight loss journey. Before we get into this week's vlog, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing. And comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And now let's get into the weekly vlog. I'm in my room and I got some new art. <laughs> it's part of the Christmas present. Um, which kind of brings me perfectly actually to what I've been hinting at, I am going home for the holidays. I'm going back to Texas. That means I have to quarantine this week. I can't go outside at all this week. And you're probably thinking, why are you only quarantined for a week? Usually people quarantine for two weeks. Well, I'll tell you why. I took a COVID test last Wednesday and it was a self like at home kit test and it came back negative. So my results came back negative, which was great. So I took a test last week and I also still had to get like some stuff as well. And on Sunday, which was yesterday, I took another test where they put the swab all the way up your nose. It's kind of like, it. it's like you I mean, obviously, it's like you're putting like an ear swab up your nose a little bit too far, but it just feels kind of like a pinch or like a scratch sensation. But also it happens so quick that you don't even have a, a chance to think about it. At least the guy who did my swab, he was just like, can you confirm that, you know, this is right? And I said yes. And then all of a sudden, it was at my nose and then I was like, whoa. And then it was at my second nostril. It was at one nostril and then the second nostril within a second. Like it happened in a second. I'm not even joking you, it was so fast. So I took the test and I am going to find out the results in three to five days. So hopefully Wednesday, Thursday, I will find out. Latest would be Friday. I am quarantining this week, which means there's not going to be any walks outside, which I'm a little sad about, but I'll hopefully be able to go outside again when I go home. But this also means that this video, I mean, it may or may not be shorter because lately the videos have been pretty long, but <laughs> in like 45 minutes. So long. Ugh, I'm so sorry, but I mean, hopefully you guys like them and enjoy a long video. I pack a lot in there. But essentially, I am going to be driving home on Saturday. So because of that, this week's video is going to be ending on Friday evening. So I will do my final way in that morning, I believe. I mean, I could do a weigh-in. No, I, I leave way too early on Saturday to even try to think about that. I'm going to try to leave Saturday morning at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning because driving from here all the way to Texas, it's like a 14-hour drive. <laughs> it's so long. Well, 13 to 14-hour drive. Hopefully, I can make it in 12 but because I usually do, but... That's usually when I'm with someone, i.e. my grandmother, who I'm going to visit. So yeah, I'm taking the precautions for her. I am not flying. I am also, yeah, I'm mainly, I'm being very careful in my house anyway. You guys know, like I have a roommate. We're both wearing masks around each other, but also her schedule is kind of busy this week, so I'll barely barely be around her. Yeah, I am going to now get started with work. I need to make my breakfast, have my oatmeal. Oh, that is something exciting that I can show you. I meal prepped, which I didn't think I would be able to do, but I was like, I'm going to need a meal prep so that I'm not cooking all the time. I 
and being as sanitary as possible and only using one item and keeping it in my room essentially so yeah i am meal prepping i meal prepped yesterday on sunday and i made like my vegetable my meat only bad thing that happened was that i put it into a i made like a little bowl out of aluminum foil and essentially what happened is that i dropped it in the oven and wasted food and I believe I have cleaned that oven before but at the same time I was just like I'm not gonna eat it in the chance that I don't think I did because I couldn't remember but I'm pretty sure like when we moved in I cleaned everything like everything in the kitchen I wiped down every single thing I was very anal because I was like we're moving in the middle of a pandemic this was back in May so I wanted to make sure that everything was clean i wiped down everything in my room my bathroom the living room like i wiped down walls yeah i i just wanted to be safe as possible because at the beginning of this pandemic i was really freaked out like extremely extremely freaked out but anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i made um for my lunch and dinners this week i'll probably have to make a little bit more vegetables but in terms of meat, I am pretty solid. I have turkey burgers and I have sausage. I may need, need, ugh, I may need to make more sausage because I did drop two in the oven. And I was not happy about that. But I also need to get through my eggs too. So I'll probably have that as protein instead a couple of nights. So this is my breakfast. I did over my oats I have two of these containers it looks kind of gross but honestly this is what I got and then for lunch and dinner it is essentially yeah I need to make more <laughs> um, I have green beans and I have some turkey burgers there and I have a sausage we'll most likely need to make some eggs and stuff like that so I'm gonna boil that just so that I'm being careful my roommate doesn't really um, use the kitchen as much as I do, so I can still use the kitchen for right now as much as possible. So I just got my test results back so quickly and yes. I am watching Bob's Burgers but yeah I got my test results back just now literally and I tested negative again so not detected which is really great to get tested twice and no signs of COVID so I got the got the test results back and very quickly at that as well anyways it is around 10 30 so it's still a little bit early although i have had a headache since last night on just like this part of my head and that kind of tells me that i haven't really been drinking a lot of water so i'm going to try to up my water intake today and for the rest of the week because i need to be hydrated and i just have not been the best about that so anyways i'll check in with you guys later Isn't it funny how until you can't do something, that is all you want to do? During this week, I am not allowed to go out. I may try to go and take the trash out, but because it needs to go out, and I really should have done that yesterday before I went to go get tested. But I need to go and, yeah, take the trash out. But also, I just want to order food. <laughs> But I don't want to. It's not that I can't. It's just that I'm taking that extra precaution. I just, I want to get food from restaurants. Like I, I was like, ooh, maybe I can do crumble. <laughs> maybe I can do delivery food, but I don't know. I just, I want to be very careful. So 
I'm waiting until I'm in Texas. <laughs> but you know, the beautiful thing about Texas is as soon as I get there, I am not even joking you. I am going to get Whataburger because Whataburger is so good. All you other places could never, truly you could never. Whataburger is just the best. I love their root beer. It is the best root beer. Their ketchup dipping packets are perfect. It's like a little bucket. So you only really need like three of them and it lasts you for a good large fry. Whereas a bunch of places you get these small thin packets of ketchup and it's just never enough, you know? So yeah, I'm really excited to get Whataburger. It is currently 2.47. I am watching Star Wars episode four, the first one, and I'm finishing it because I just finished watching The Mandalorian. I'm all caught up. The next episode will be out this Friday. So I'm excited to get that on the books, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. I'm gonna try to work out. My headache is definitely a lot better now that I've had quite a bit of water. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue drinking more water. Had some dehydrated carrots as you guys saw along with some toast. Really want some ice cream, but you know, I did have a lot of sweets last week and then I had that ice cream over the weekend. So going a full week of not really having a lot of sweets is, it's fine, you know, just withdrawals, but I do need to be better about curbing my sweet intake anyway. So this will be a good little setup for me for the rest of the year, hopefully.
This is my breakfast, and yes, I am eating it out of the tin foil because I am putting the oatmeal, the overnight oats, into the oven just because I want it warm and I don't want it cold, and I'm too lazy to take it out of the oatmeal, of what? Of the foil, so I am just eating it within the foil. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very tired and lazy this morning, so this is what it is today. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, yesterday, I realized this morning that I have not been having my celery juice, so. Finishing that this week. But also, the chocolate that I had last night, I only had three squares, and they were pretty decent sized squares, but that chocolate was really good. I had it and took the first bite and I was like, oh, does it taste like whey? Because I hate the taste of whey protein. It's so chalky and is not satisfying at all. So, but it didn't taste like that. I thought it, like, I was just skeptical in that sense. But yeah, I had three of those last night and three of those, like, squares last night. And it was really good. I think I'm going to try to buy that chocolate again if I see it in the future. I really liked that chocolate last night and I definitely want to try to buy that in the future. Especially with it being, like, what did it say on here? It's vegan, which is wonderful and ethically sourced cacao, which is awesome, and refined sugar-free, which I think is really, gr really great. And this is an oatmeal cookie dough by Evolved. Chocolate is food, not candy. I just love it, and the fact that you know all the ingredients that are going into it as well. They list it out for you, so that makes me feel so much better. But I am currently warming up my oatmeal this morning and we'll show you guys that when it's ready and I need to finish drinking my celery juice oh yeah I started watching Star Wars I mentioned this on my Instagram story if you don't follow me on Instagram please do follow me I will leave a link down below for you to go check out my Instagram so you can keep up with me like in real time of what's going on but yeah I started watching Star Wars for the first time. We have Disney Plus, and so I'm watching 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, and then 7, 8, 9 to the end or whatever. And I've watched 7 and 9 before, but now I have to rewatch them considering everything. I've always known who Darth Vader was. My grandma would take me to see them when I was younger, and I would just fall asleep. They just weren't interesting to me when I was a child. But now that I'm re-watching them as an adult, and I say they weren't interesting to me as a child because I grew up watching the Star Trek show and I loved watching Star Trek. It was so funny and so good and I just loved it. And I love the Star Trek movies that came out recently. I'm also not like a heavy movie critic anyway. Like I generally enjoy movies. <laughs> I had always just been a Star Trek person. But now that I'm watching Star Wars, mainly because I've been watching The Mandalorian and I've been loving The Mandalorian, it's so good. And I'm on season two, I'm caught up, you know, just waiting every Friday for the new episodes. Oh. But I decided I would finally watch all the Star Wars movies in order. And man, I had no idea that Yoda's personality when meeting Luke was kind of crazy. <laughs> He was a little all over the place. I always saw him as this person, as Yoda as this person who, well not person, I guess he's a being of some sort, a creature. I don't know really what Yoda is, mainly because we don't really know what the kid is. I'm figuring things out, essentially. I'm all over the place with this. But I, what was I saying? I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, I just need to eat food. Ugh. anyways but basically I didn't really know who I didn't know that Yoda was a little off his rocker <laughs> in the beginning like in 4, 5, 6 for Star Wars I just thought from the clips that I would see growing up and online and stuff like that that he was just very calm and composed but he's kind of funny and a little crazy and kooky and then all of a sudden he's serious and I'm just like um are you okay Yoda because you're switching quick for me and it's giving me a bit of whiplash with how quick you're going but anyways I'm enjoying it I'm really enjoying it I am shocked by some of the things that I'm seeing in terms of Darth Vader and Luke I've always known about that. I won't say it in case someone has never seen Star Wars, but I always knew about that big reveal in history. Yeah. And <laughs> also seeing Darth Vader's face, not one, two, three, like episodes, but I think in 
six, episode six, I was shocked. I had no idea Darth Vader looked like that. I was shook. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways, my oatmeal is almost done. I am going to show you guys that now because it is practically ready. I'm going to have the rest of the chocolate, which I had three last night and I just had one before I had my meal. And I'm gonna have the last two little chocolate um, squares and that will be me done for dessert and lunch today. So <laughs> I tried doing a photo shoot in my living room, didn't work. Went into my bedroom, found the perfect spot for me to take photos, but I got really hot. <laughs> I'm the type of person who gets very overheated quickly and I'm wearing short sleeves and shorts right now. So that can kind of tell you the type of weather it is in my apartment. Like it's not hot. I mean, I was sweating quite a bit this morning in my workout, but it's not super cold in my apartment it's a nice temperature it's warm so me putting on that sweater and then trying to move around getting slightly stressed got me really hot and when my stomach gets hot i don't feel my best i feel like my glasses just really made a mark here you see oh my eyelashes are really long anyways i don't feel hungry because i felt a little bit unwell because I got hot, I overheated. So I may or may not have dinner. I really should try to just drink something or eat something cold, to be quite honest with you, because I feel like that will help me feel better. Because when I physically, I, I put ice packs on me and I have the fan going. Can you see the fan? No, you can't get to a spot where you can see the fan the fan is there and then right there is my little ice pack that I have so I put the ice pack literally on my stomach on top of my shirt um, not just bare skinned like that and then I have the fan blowing on my legs to help me stay cool and I just laid down on the couch for about for about like 15 20 minutes because I just was feeling very, very unwell. Just have stuff in my eye. Can you see? Is it out? I don't see anything. Okay. Wow, you can really see my face. You can see all the details. Wow. Anyways, I am probably gonna see if I can eat my two fried, like two, not fried eggs, but two boiled eggs that I made previously. They're in the fridge, so they are cold. So hopefully that will make me feel better. So I'm gonna do that now. So I'm actually going to call it a night because I can't, I still feel very hot <laughs> in my stomach. I don't know if anyone else gets this way, but I, when I overheat, I feel it first in my, I don't know why I was trying to open that one. I was really trying to close that. I get hot in my stomach. And because of that, I feel like my entire body just starts to want to overheat. If you can hear the fan, by the way. Oh, where is it? It is right there. There's the fan <laughs> with some clothes on the floor. Oh, it's an absolute mess. I am not even going to show you the state of my room because it's absolutely, I'm not even going to show you the state of my room because it's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, I still feel pretty hot. The two boiled eggs were good to have. 
but honestly I just can't eat anymore so what I'm gonna focus on for the rest of the night is drinking a lot of water and I still have to finish a project for work so I need to do that um, tonight as well as finish editing a video I'm pretty much done with it I just need to figure out the transitions for it and then I can upload it to YouTube and have it scheduled for Sunday so yeah I am going to love you and leave you here and I will see you guys in the morning depending on how I feel I may not do a workout but we'll see we'll see what I end up doing tomorrow morning because I'm sure I'll feel better because when I had that headache earlier in the week which I'm sure was like yesterday or the day before how much the days are blending I think it was Monday when I had the headache that day the next day the headache was gone because I drank water which helped immensely so drinking water I feel like and just keeping cool and not overheating myself or just over exerting myself is going to be clutch in keeping me feeling well I need to feel 100%, especially if I'm going to be driving for like 13, 14 hours. Also, I'm literally telling no one in Texas that I'm going home because I'm not going to be able to see them anyway, and they wouldn't be able to come in my house. I couldn't go into their houses at all because of the pandemic, the global pandemic that we are all currently suffering through. Yeah, I won't be able to see them so there's literally no point in telling them like hey I'm back home we're in the same place like I wouldn't be able to see them anyway because social distancing and whatever so it's literally just gonna be me and grandma chillin if you haven't already I think I've already mentioned this but follow me on Instagram it's at Jasmine Rosette same handle same everywhere so I'm easy to find and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing here and hit that bell notification so you can be notified anytime i upload a video i would love to have you be a part of the fam the crew the group i don't know what else the posse is that is that uncool <laughs> to say the posse me and my posse me and my homies I don't, I don't know. Me and my posse. Is that cool? Or am I just like making myself uncool and you're like, I don't want to be a part of that. Or we're going to be doing that. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow morning. We'll see if I work out or not. I think I'll be fine. Or I could just take it slow and try to do some yoga because I have not stretched in a while and I need to be, I say that each time, I need to be better about stretching. <sighs> I have a better morning routine, I will say, but stretching should be included in that morning routine.
so this morning I am waking up a little bit stressed but need to also try to calm down last night I tried doing yoga and then ended up just doing stretches um, I was trying to follow this yoga with Adrian video but I needed more room for what she was doing and I was just like I'm just gonna stick with stretching for the rest of this time so that is what I'm gonna do this morning is I am going to stretch and I will show you guys that because I honestly should be starting my days like this at least five minutes a day of just waking up and stretching and getting my body moving um, I do have to start work early this morning because I want to have some documentation ready before my meeting because I have an early meeting this morning and I realized last night when I was packing all my stuff well this morning I realized it's not a lot of stuff but at the same time it is stressing me out with moving all this stuff and taking it with me to Texas so last night it just stressed me out thinking about it and then yeah I was just like this is a lot this is a lot so yeah I this morning I'm just like okay it's not a lot of stuff you're just going to be putting it in your car and then you're unpacking it and that's okay just take your time no need to rush things I think I need to like repack a few things just so that um, in my big luggage today after work and then I'm gonna go to bed early and set off on the adventure tomorrow I can't believe it's here I'm so excited to go home but I'm also a little anxious and nervous I have taken the COVID test it's come back negative I've been as careful as I can during this week I haven't gone outside minus going to get gas that one time literally did not run into anybody um, while getting gas there's no one at the gas station either it was empty so yeah I I'm getting food today from Jimmy John's I'm gonna order two sandwiches as per Melanie <laughs> I told Melanie that I didn't I think that's an, also another reason why I was kind of stressed was that I woke up yesterday thinking oh yeah I didn't really plan my meals for my trip like I have snacks and it's not a lot of snacks but like peanuts can be very well it's not just peanuts but it's pistachios uh, with almonds and some other type of nuts it's like a variety of nuts mixed nuts and those can be pretty filling seaweed not that filling but I like it and then I also have dehydrated carrots which can be semi-filling because it just takes time to chew through them, you know? But, and I have water. I have a good amount of water. So I'm not worried there. But, uh... Yeah, Melanie was not too pleased with me and the fact that I did not plan my meals. So it's like, okay, I'm going to order Jimmy John. She's like, you better order two sandwiches, knowing you, because you go through snacks so quickly. And I'm like, yes, I do. She knows me so well. Like, I'm, she's like, you're, you're going to have to be better about, like, managing your snack ability because no one's going to be there in the car with you to, like, ration things out to you. You have to have that control. And I was like, you're right. I'm gonna have to because I'm driving by myself like I can't stop anywhere besides getting gas so yeah I am going to go 
go ahead and do yoga now. Just like a five minute stretch. And then I will get the day started. And I will weigh in in a few minutes as well. I'll weigh in after I do my yoga stretch thing. I'll probably get started with work knowing me and then weigh in later and then have a later breakfast. Yeah, that sounds like more of my morning. Having a late breakfast. I typically have breakfast around 8.30 to 9.30, sometimes 10. But lunch is around like 12 to 2, just depending on the day. I feel like now that work's gotten really busy. I mean, work's been busy, but I felt it. Nice little stretch shashi yoga e sequence 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 i feel like i am saying it right but it's the pronunciation is not coming fully across or maybe whatever sequence like i know i'm saying it right from sequin like a sequin sequence Maybe I'm just thinking too hard about this. <laughs> Anyways, it is what time? about to be 8.30, so I'm going to hop online and uh, get some work done before my meeting. And yeah, I'll do way in after work. There's a squirrel outside my window. Ooh! No, sir. No, sir. Stop looking in here. Anyways, I will share with you guys my weight update. I also realized as I was doing my head tilts, <laughs> Mandalorian comes out today. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to watch the new episode, so I feel like that's going to help de-stress me. <laughs> uh, yeah, today it's uh it's gonna be a day i don't really know how i feel about it all right so here is breakfast looks kind of gross because i put oat milk in it and <laughs> but it's gonna be tasty i'm gonna like it and then i have this la colombe coffee draft latte made with oat milk the original so that is my breakfast this morning. Currently watching The Mandalorian, but I weigh 214. Which is very exciting. How close shall we drop you off? But the front door. I weigh 214. We're just gonna leave it there. I just got a message that I did not want to receive. All right, guys, that is the end of this week's vlog. I am ending at 214 pounds, which is awesome considering I feel like 
for the longest time I've been trying to get to this just get back down as low as possible and we're we're doing it guys we're doing it so yeah I'm ending it here on Friday at 2 14 because tomorrow I embark in my journey driving all the way to Texas 13 to 14 hours Ugh. at least I think it's 13 to 14 hours <laughs> oh my gosh anyways if you've made it this far i appreciate you so so much for making it to the end of this video if you haven't already please do give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that i'm doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and yeah don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you in the next one Bye. Sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign?